morning welcome to RTR TV I've bitten the bullet join the e-bike revolution purchased myself a same bike LO26 version 2 I'm just gonna have a little ride around the beach area and uh, I'll bring you back in a minute well I just had to go off-road then so yeah, this bike's good for going off-road. It's a road bike and a mountain bike. And the thing I love about it is it's a fold-away. You can fold it away. How cool is that? Put it in the car. I could drive miles away and uh, get it out, go on a nice track somewhere. I'm going around a car park at the moment. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll find a nice spot and I'll turn you around and show you the, show you the bike. Bring you back in a sec. Look at all the crows. <laughs> but anyway, I've come down to South Sea Common to show you this. The same bike, LO26 version 2 uh, e-bike. Oh, it's a wonderful machine. I love it. And I really like the fact that you can fold it in half, put it in your car. You have to put the seats down, mind you, but, you know, it's not a problem, is it? 21 Shimano gears Very effortless to ride I mean it's quite windy today, but I haven't uh, Really broke a sweat and it's more or less just the weight of my legs. It's um, Parrot it's amazing. It's amazing I'm gonna do lots and lots of uh, Traveling on this You know I've got I think I might go to the new forest chuck it in the boot of the car unfold it, put it together, maybe do a trek around the New Forest, cycle paths, that'd be amazing. And it's the right time of year as well, the right time of year. You can lock the old suspension if you want to, I don't know why you would want to. It's got a middle one there. There are we, it's in focus, yeah. Oh yeah. I've ridden it, I've had it a week. I thought I'd give it a ride before I'd take it out and video, do a video with it. But yeah, it's a lovely machine. It's got a key under there. You turn, the key's locked in place. So it can't come out. Right, what I'll do, I'll show you it folded in half. I'll bring you back. So what you have to do, lift that catch up, pull that, and it all just folds in half. There you go. It's not light, I think it's about 25-30 kilos, something like that. But the fact that it can do that, that was a that was the selling point for me. So it means I can go miles and then still ride miles, because it's got quite a good range on it. I haven't properly tested that yet, but it's gonna be good. Got there in the end. That's only the second time I've ever done that. <laughs> but it's a nice feature. And this is the spot where I bought my uh, Marin when I first tested it out. Right, well, I'm going to switch it on now. So you hold that button at the bottom there, comes on. I've got that set on the lowest screen, and also I've got it in miles per hour rather than kilometres per hour because I'm old and I'll remember miles better. But yeah, you got a Shimano. I'm keeping the wrappers on them as well, the covers. I'm gonna keep the cover on it for a while. And uh, that's for the front. It's got a little voltmeter there, 53.7. I mean, uh, from where I've come from home, that's not moved. That's not hardly moved at all. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take off through these trees 
you've got the um, hang on, there you are. You've got the what pedal assist you're in. What, so I'll take it up to two. It's got five levels, but you know, for pedaling, I find two or three is perfectly okay. I suppose if you're going to go up hills, then you'd have it higher. But and it has got a throttle there, but I'm not going to use that. My main intention because I want to get fit as well. You do have to put in a bit of exercise on these things, but it does make life a lot easier. So let's take off. Through the trees, and then, then the pedal assist kicks in after a couple of a couple of turns. Oh, it's amazingly effortless to ride. There we go, bang. But one thing I have noticed, and I'll try to fix it, the brakes slightly rub, might be able to hear of it. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna take it, because I try to do the bit where you loosen the caliper and um, pull the brake and do it up again. That didn't fix it. So I am gonna take it and get it done properly, because I couldn't actually undo the Allen key to actually move the pads, so that's a job. Right, I'm gonna go down there. Hopefully you can't hear it too much, but it's quite windy down here, and this is a, a nice incline, but it's a doddle, going against the wind, nice steady, eight miles an hour, effortless, oh, it's a revelation, right, let's go around the car park, this was shut off last time I came down here on the Marin. That promenade was, they've only just opened it up again. But I don't think you can ride bikes down it. Just coming up the Garrison's Church. Also I have noticed is the, uh, the rear suspension does tend to uh, squeak a bit and I've not been watching videos on this bike and the main one and I'll shout out to Bubbles Way he's done loads of videos on it and um, on the same bike oh. I think I've seen that before but yeah he's done loads of videos on this and um, sort of influenced me to get it. I'll tell you what I am going to do, because this has been shut for quite a while as well. I'm going to go down there, that tunnel, Nelson's Bridge. I'll take you over and film that, because Nelson, and it's, I've done a video to it as well, so I'll, I'll put a thing up in the corner. He came across this field, down that tunnel, on his way to the victory, and on his way to, to his destiny at Trafalgar. So let's go and film that. So there we go, same bike, LO26, version 2, and Nelson's Bridge, which I won't be riding it across. <laughs> but yeah, I'll hover over that, you can read it. It's quite interesting, because he he stayed in the, uh, the George Hotel, which was destroyed on the night of the 10th of January, 1941, in an air raid, huge air raid. Yeah, so let's go down that tunnel. So I'm going to walk it through here. I think it only right. Oh yeah, I've got to bend down. You can hear that squeaking actually, where the brakes slightly rubbing. Got little lights along here too. Have to come here at night sometime. Here we go. Obviously, this is a rebuilt bridge. <laughs> Actually, I think Nelson went through that uh, redoubt there. There's a redoubt, little alleyway through that redoubt, up to there. And that's what, and you can actually go to it. Maybe I will. I'll take the bike down there. So yeah, he would have come along here. 
this is all built in like the uh, 16th, 17th century. So all this was here. It would have come through this alleyway. Up here. Oh, no one gets my bike. <laughs> and then you would have come up here. At least, well, what was here then? Up these steps. The boat that was waiting for him. And the fetchery was moored up just off the Isle of Wight over there. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my bike before someone gets it. You can see that redoubt here. It's an old fortification. See the bridge a bit better there. That way. A couple of things I do want to do eventually. Obviously, change the tyres, put better tyres on there, and I want to get a bigger stem on there because you know I'm six foot five and. Uh, I mean, every bike looks small to me. Even my Marin Bellinus Ridge one looks small on me, but you know, it's uh, just lift that stem up a bit. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Right, I'm gonna go back through the, uh, the tunnel that Nelson came through. Got the moat behind me, to the side of me. And I've got to bend down. This will give you an idea, actually, because Hardy, you know, kissed me Hardy fame, whatever that is. He was six foot four, so he was only an inch shorter than me. Oh, Christ. There you go, I'm sort of on about, see. I mean, I'm bent over. Just glad I've got my helmet on, really. Here we go. There you go, Nelson's Bridge and the tunnel that leads to it. Right, let's go to the Round Tower. Right, just riding by the square tower here. Hang on, let's get around on this pavement. Just want to show you this quickly. I don't know if I've shown it to you before, but the Bonds of Friendship sculpture between Britain and Australia, unveiled by Her Majesty the Queen, 11th of July 1980, in front of the square tower there. Yeah, I remember this being put here because um, 1987 and it was the uh, 200th anniversary of the um, first fleet sailing off to Australia. Prison holds, they were all mauled off outside the Solent back in 1788 and they took off. Right, let's go down. I want to do an experiment now. Do that brake squeak. I'm going to do an experiment because there's a cobbled road down there and I did it in one of my videos. So I'm going to take this bike down there and see how it fares. Probably here it's really windy. But I want to go, this is that cobbled street, I did a video about all these cobbled streets. So, what you want to do, go and have a look at those videos. Must get these brakes sorted. I'm going to take it down there, see how it fares. <laughs> so you've got cobbled streets down here as well. This is old Portsmouth by the way. Obviously the Spinnaker Tower. So I've got it on pedal assist 2. And it was really windy just a minute ago. Didn't do anything, here we go. You can hear that suspension, the back suspension squeaking a bit. But you know what? Ooh, it's still a comfortable ride. Oh. <laughs> and it's effortless. I mean, look, you see that balloon blowing over there. See how windy it is. Oh. 
all the way to the end. I'm only using one brake at the moment because I'm holding the camera. But yeah, here I am, down at Old Portsmouth. Spice Island, Stillham West, just round the corner there. I'm gonna go by that now. <laughs> That's cobbled stone too. Yeah, I'm gonna feel the effect on me now. Oh. See my old jowls wobbling. Oh. Uh, cobbled, I don't know if you can see it. Stones all the way. It's a test for any bike. I want to turn off here to the round tower. I think my bump deserves it. Move bit. Suspension work, so let's go to the round tower. Oh, there we go. Z round tower. I came here before, didn't I? When I did my old with the Marin. Look at that. Here comes the Sea Cat coming in just in time. in a lovely wake. That's only a small boat. Catamaran. Right, gonna leave the round last bit of cobblestone to go on. Here we go. I think suspension works really well. Hang on. One hand brake, squeaking like hell. I'm gonna get these brakes sorted though. I wanna go and get something to eat. I've got a noodle pot, a tuna pot thing. And a nice cup of tea. Coffee, sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no car alarms going off. There was just a minute ago. going to disappear around the corner of the round tower. Uh, there's the alarm. <laughs> there it goes. Into Portsmouth Harbour. You see the, another ferry going by under there, all the alarms going off. <laughs> right, I'm going to head down to South Sea Seafront. Bring you back when I get down that way. Really small, you sort of, you know. Exactly, well, this is a great day. I'm just yeah, doing a bit. Famous, yeah. This is a great day for me, because I was riding by and a call came from nowhere, robbed a rover. Yeah. I've been praying for this day that someone would recognize. Famous, <laughs> this mate. happened. Yeah, yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you very right. much. Oh, it's amazing. I've just actually got this bike. That's what I'm doing. Well, Testing it out. So it's a fold away. Yeah. And I can chuck it in the boot of the car so I can travel. Yeah. yeah. You still got your other one? Yeah. I saw that. The Marin Bellinas Ridge. Yeah. I did that, tested you liked that it all around. It was navy grey or something, didn't you? Oh, it? I love that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's been watching. Oh, yeah. it's brilliant. Thank you yeah. very much well, for no watching. Problem, That's no, great. Oh, so where are you off to? I'm just going to go down. Uh, I've got a little bush there. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I'm going there to have a look. I've got a nice little. Tuna pot. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to have a cookout. Yeah, definitely. Goes back to my youth when I used to go out. I always have a pit. Well, not a pit. I have oh, a no, burner. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. used to be able to in those days. But yeah. Got to be got a bit more careful about it now. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, yeah, mate. Sure. Thank you very All much. Right, have a good one. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, Look out for this video. <laughs>
<laughs> Excuse me, he doesn't want to be on camera and I don't blame him. No, too ugly. Oh, he's, a, he's a fine looking fella. He's a fine looking fella and his mate. <laughs> Cheers mate, see you soon. <laughs> oh, to be recognised. I mean, I do make a lot of videos around town. So, if people put up, um, you know, type Portsmouth or anything in, they might come up with one of my videos because I do put have Portsmouth in the keyword, which is my hometown. So there's always a chance people might see it. Well, I'm going to ask anyway. Right, I used to come, I used to go skateboarding down here when I was a kid, and I'm going to ride this bike up there. On, let's go for pedal assist two. See how easy it is to get up that hill. Here we go. And it's kicked in. I might take it up to three. That was relatively effortless. Over to the bandstand. So it's quite a steep slope. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I stepped it up to three. I think three was a good, good thing. So what I will do, I'm going to try it in four. See what it's like then. See, see that slope there, going out the side of Southsea Castle. Let's try that one. I think I might have to put it in five for that, because that is pretty steep. <laughs> Fountain comes up every now and then. Right. Here we go, up that slope over there. Something going on in there, I think. Filming or something. Right. I'm going to put it, switch it into five. That is really steep. I'm going to be doing it one handed. No cycling or skateboarding. Sorry, but I've got to test it. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> oh. That was a doddle. Oh god, I'm so happy with this bike. I mean, I'm not pedalling now. As soon as you turn the pedal, I think it's one complete rotation. It takes you a lot, you know. And it's really blowing up here. And it's so effortless. It's so effortless. It's a dream come true. Right, let's go and get some grub. I think it's time. I'll tell you what, I will walk down that hill <laughs> because uh, it says no cycling, but I just had to test this on that and doing it one handed as well. It's amazing. Yeah, I definitely think they're filming over there. They've got lights, lights on it. Look how steep this slope is though. There you go. See me uh, trying to slow this bike down as I'm walking down this slope. Well pleased with that performance. Right, I'm going to ride across the common, take it off road a little bit. Right, I'm on number two at the moment. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's just on number two as well. You know, if you only kept this on two, I mean the battery's hardly dropped. I've driven quite away. Ridden quite away, should I say? Yeah. Let's try the gravel over there. Here we go. Across the gravel. All right, all right. Thank you. That's very kind. She stopped the lorry coming out for me. I did 
study go on, you know, but it's very nice. Right, let's go and get some grub. So here I am riding along south of the Esplanade. It is very windy, but very easy at the same time. Do I sound out of breath? I would have been, that's for sure. It's rather effortless. Makes the biking experience so much better. Leisurely ride. The only thing I've got to get sorted is that bike. And I'm going to take this to the bike shop as soon as I've finished here. Look at that sky behind me. Cool, eh? I love it. Only a light snack today. Pop, tuna pop. Tuna pop. I've been filming on my little um, uh, the tripod that came with the mic, the MV MV88, the Shure MV88, which is very handy. You can just hold it when you're riding along, you know. You can still hold the handlebars. Even. So, yeah, but I'll put it on the big tripod now. Look at this. John West. Tuna pot, rice. Is it rice? Yes. Five minutes and then uh, salted caramel mocha. Got a bit of a taste of them. I bought a flask. Keep it simple. Smells a bit curryish. Smells a bit curryish. So, let's get the coffee in the cup. As always. Coffee and snack. Let's get that in the bag so it don't blow away. I can hear a dog around, as usual. I suppose it's to be expected. Don't know the way that's angled there. There we go, it should do. Give that a few minutes to do its thing and then I'll put the tuna in. Still got me big spoon. Oops. Up the cup of coffee. So what do I think about the same bike? Hello 26 version 2. It's a dream come true really because um, I'm going to be able to go so many places with this. Probably the uh, fact that you can fold it away. That's the charging port there. And it's the same charger that I use for my scooter, which is handy. Just a little bit more powerful. When they sent the, pl when the plug that came with it, it was a European plug, but luckily I still got the charger from the scooter. So I could just take the plug out. Plug it into it. Brilliant. Ah. So, like I said, things I am going to change on it eventually. Obviously, the tyres. Because uh, although they they're not too bad, they do do for me. I'm not going to go too mad off roading on it. But I've definitely got to um, get me out. Of my I've definitely got to get a new stem. <coughs> And again, shout out to Bubbles Way. He does a very good video on how to replace it. So I'll be uh, watching that to see how to do it. That'd be brilliant. I'm going to stick the tuner in now. Tip 
pour the juice in there. Lovely. These are nice, these are. I've had one um, up on Farlington Marshes when I went there for lunch one day from work. And I'll put the uh, put a thing up there so you can go and have a look at that one. That's quite up. It'd be good to do a bike ride around Farlington Marshes at some point on that, on the same bike. Starving. As usual. nice. What I'm curious about, because I know these are Chinese, it's a Chinese bike, is it same bike or is it Sam e-bike or Sammy bike? I'm going to have to call it Sam, and I? Sam it is. Mm. Oh, lovely. I thoroughly enjoyed that tuna pot. I even forgot to film myself eating the last of it. <laughs> but I've still got my coffee. Ah. Yeah, the um, the fellow who recognised me, I don't want to don't mention his name, so he asked me not to mention his name. Um, yeah. He said he watched a lot of it. He watched the last uh, video I made on the, the when I tested out my Marin Bellinus Ridge one. He said he, I can't believe it. I've been recognised. But yeah, like I say, I have done a few videos around Portsmouth, and I'm now I've got that bike, and it's like a doddle to ride. I'm going to be doing a few more, I think, especially with the summer coming up. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to go over the back of Port Down Hill, you know, take, put it in the boot, drive over there, get it out. I can't wait to do that. That's typical. I feel rain in the air now. It's been promising, isn't it? I mean, that sky. Look at it. I'm quite sheltered under here at the moment. But I'll start heading home in a minute. Ah, done. Yeah, I was talking to the um, fellow who recognised me. Um, and I was saying, we were saying, he was saying like he used to do all this sort of thing when he was younger, you know, going out into the woods having cook ups and camping out and things like that so yeah and that's the reason <coughs> excuse me that's the reason why I do it you know because it's like a I said probably midlife crisis <laughs> in my case you know um, stuff I used to do when I was a kid uh, and I used to love doing it and it didn't hurt anybody and I'm doing it now it's great Well, I just want to take you to see if you can feel where the, the bike pulls after you start pedalling. So, let's go. There, it's gone. It's got you. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Right, I'm going to head home. So it looks like it is going to rain. I can feel it in the air. And, uh, obviously, the bike's waterproof, but I'm not. I forgot to bring in all my waterproof, any waterproofs with me, any waterproof coat. So I'm going to head off. Do you know what? I've, it, the battery's hardly been touched. Hardly been touched. It's amazing. I'll turn you around. Right. So what I'll do is I'll leave the video here. Good test for the bike, I think. Loved it. The same bike, LO26 version 2. 
I'm going to take it to get the brakes looked at right now. Okay, so I'll see you next time when I'm roving about, wherever it may be. See you soon. Bye.